So, um, spring is on its way, and the trees aren't quite budding yet, but they're getting close to. But we have this crappy apple tree in our yard. It has never had consistent fruit. Uh, it's had a lot of fruit sometimes, but it's really small and doesn't taste very good. Uh, it may be a crab apple, I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it a shot today. Um, grafting, doing a bark graft of um, another variety onto this this what will be a, a root stock. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't find my hand saw, so I'm going to use a little uh, circular saw to cut off the branches. And because this is the first time I've done it, I'm not going to cut them off as low as I should. Uh, I just want to make sure it's going to work. Um, so anyhow, we will see how it goes. Cut it off here first in case it splits, um, and then I can do a controlled cut the second time around. So. All right, I'm going to make a loud noise, okay, buddy? And as I suspected, uh, it did split. So I'm going to go back down now and cut, recut this again. And you're supposed to cut, cut it across um, perpendicularly to the axis of the branch. So let's go ahead and do that. Basically, where the tip of this goes in is, as I understand it, what's called the cambium layer. And that's where basically all the, the life of the tree exists for the sap, etc. So, um, here is a um, scion that I'm not actually going to use. This is one I cut actually off of this, this um, rootstock tree. But basically what's going to happen is we're going to make a slit in the, in the bark into the cambium layer. And then where we have this um, shaved off, you're going to insert that down in there, and then you seal it, etc. So I'm actually going to do three grafts since this is my first time doing it, <clears throat> and uh, I'm not sure what kind of a success I'm going to have with it, so um, let's get to grafting. Making a cut about an inch and a quarter or so long, and then this is not an ideal knife for this. Um, and you just peel back the bark layer. taking my first scion here um, you want the bud facing out so I'm going to cut on the back side and cut one stroke all the way through well didn't quite do it one stroke all the way through but it's a pretty smooth pretty smooth cut just clean it off just a little bit more. I'm going to use the top one first because that's the one that I hope will take. And then shove it in. I think I gave, went just a little bit too far. And there we go. So I just nipped that one off and I'm going to seal it here in a second because um, <clears throat> I want to reuse this um, for the next one. Because I'm experimenting, I'm actually going to take um, uh, a piece that I think is probably too small and I'm going to try to use it um, for this one down here um, <clears throat> just, just as a learning, a learning endeavor. Alright, so we've got the one I think is right, the smaller one, 
And now, <clears throat> again, just as a learning endeavor, um, I'm going to use a piece that actually has a branch on it, but it doesn't have any buds on the main scion part. Um, I'm sure an experienced arborist would probably have an opinion about this, but I'm not one of those, so I'm just going to give it a shot. Alright, so now we tape it and then we put some um, sealant on it to um, seal these and we'll seal this piece here. What I'm doing right now is just putting some uh, heavy duty duct tape around this to make sure they get a good mate. <clears throat> and you pull it tight so they lock in. I'll try not to pull it so tight that you break the tape like I did in the first go round. This next step we have some um, emulsion which is sort of like tar but it's not. It's water soluble and um, you just basically seal everything up with this and you can be liberal with it. Um, so let's it get around. to that. The only thing the direction said is don't do it when it's freezing and don't do it when it's raining. Um, it's probably 40 degrees outside today. <clears throat> really, I probably should have done this about a week later. I mean, a week earlier. Um, some trees in our area are starting to bud now. Um, But the scion had not um, and this root stock had not yet. So I think we should be in good shape. I am going to go ahead and seal around the bottom of the tape as well just as an extra precaution. I tried to do some bud grafting a few years ago on the same tree unsuccessfully but I didn't have any of the sealant at the time and I would attribute the failure to that 